Hey everybody, Blind Shooter checking back in. Hope you all doing good. Today's video is going to be on the pending gun control laws and a little bit of a history lesson. Now, at the making of this video, lawmakers down in Washington are currently voting on bills to infringe on the rights of law-abiding gun owners. In case you don't know which ones those are, it's Bill HR8 and HR1112. Both of those are going to do nothing at all to stop criminals from committing violent acts with firearms. If anything, it's just going to punish those of you who own guns legally and enjoy using your Second Amendment rights. For those of you that don't remember, February 26, 1993, car bomb was detonated inside the World Trade Center. Back on May 1st, 2010, a car bomb went off in Times Square here in New York City. On September 16th, 2016, explosives went off in a marathon in New Jersey and here in New York on 23rd Street. Fast forward the next year, December 11th, 2017, a suicide bomber tried detonating a homemade explosive device at the Port Authority bus terminal. Since then, not a single law has been enacted to prevent those who shouldn't have bomb-making materials to purchase them. Yet every time a mass shooting happens, Democrats are the very first ones to step up and start calling for more gun control. I understand a lot of people are upset with the NRA right now on certain issues, but whether you want to believe it or not, they are fighting for our rights, and we need to get behind them now more than ever, along with other pro-Second Amendment organizations like Gun Owners of America to ensure that we keep our Second Amendment right. I don't care if you write letters to politicians. It's not going to do much good. Politicians that are anti-gun don't like us. They never have. They never will. The only times they do show a little bit of remorse for us is when it's time for them to get voted back into office. And then, it's nothing but a smoke and mirrors campaign. They tell you what you want to hear, but will quickly stab you in the back once everything is done. Please, stand and fight. Don't give up. If we do, future generations will never know what the Second Amendment was or is. Thank you all for watching. Check back with you soon. As always, God bless the United States, and don't ever apologize for being American.